Whoa! ThinkPad. With no brim! Hold on, let me go around. <laughs> let me go around. What's that? Whoa! Hello everyone, Frank here with another YouTube video and um, this is actually my second time recording this video because the first time I recorded it my audio setup was messed up so I literally just had a recording of a video with no audio so um, but yeah so in this video I'm basically just gonna be uh, going over my CPU temperatures uh, I'll show you some of my CPU temperature readings when I had the i5 processor and the current temperature readings that I have now for my i7 after. so you'll get to see what the change is like going from an i5 to an i7 on your ThinkPad T420 so initially before doing the swap I had Conkey set up you can see it over here at the top right and I had it reporting my CPU temperatures on the i5 and I was taking some screen screenshots um, so you know I could have historical data on this um, and you can see here that you know regular temps I was in the 40s 70s probably when I was doing uh, you know video editing um, and then 80s when I was you know for sure rendering video 90s as well rendering video um, but yeah for the most part I was in the 40s when just using the computer normally uh, keep in mind when I was doing the swap I found out that my uh, you know ThinkPad T420 fan was really dusty and dirty so for sure that affected my initial CPU temperatures you know before doing the swap so obviously taking these screenshots wasn't gonna scale so I went ahead and set up a cron job that was monitoring my CPU temperatures and I had it output to a file so here you see the temperatures from my i5 and from my i7 Let's go ahead and open up the i5 CPU temps file and I had this cron job running every five minutes uh, so I went ahead and spit out the date along with the temps so um, yeah let's go down the file we'll see that you know initially we were in the 40s 30s was really good but also you know sometimes I have my room pretty cold uh, so 40s 40s you know lower 40s um, probably doing extra activity there um, so yeah, I'm gonna just keep going fast obviously it's every five minutes that you can see in this time timestamp so uh, but for the most part I would say this one you know and just doing regular things not any video editing or anything like that just browsing the web maybe three four tabs I'd be in the 40s maybe mid 40s lower 40s um, and definitely when you know video rendering it would shoot up to upper 80s 90s um, here again mid 40s 39 43 um, yeah I haven't actually checked how long I had this cron job running for so um, yeah for the most part you know after skimming through the file I was in the 40s mid 40s lower 40s on the i5 here's the bottom of the file uh, 38 57 60 66 70s you know probably doing video editing 90 92 89 for sure video rendering um, so yeah now on the i7 let's go ahead and open that one up i7.txt this one here you can see I updated the script to spit out all four cores this one I would say for the most part it was in the mid to upper 40s you know on just regular usage um, so I would say yes yeah, slightly higher uh, CPU temps but also keep in mind that this time around I did clean up my fan pretty good um, and I also use thermal grizzly uh, CPU paste or whatever which is it had pretty good reviews so that's why I went with that one um, so hopefully this gives you a better idea of what to expect as far as CPU temperatures goes. Um, I personally haven't seen another video out there kind of showing this information. So there you go, 60s, 50s, again upper 40s for the most part like for regular usage. I guess here we're seeing a lot of upper 40s and 50s. So just keep scrolling. 
70s. I know of his video rendering as well. We should see something in the 90s. Yeah, there we go. 89, 90, 93. Sure, around here I was doing uh, video rendering. 11 p.m. <laughs> Upper 90s. Uh, as far as performing goes, I wouldn't really like if, if you're expecting to do this swap like you know upgrading your thinkpad from an i5 to an i7 and expecting huge performance gain then let me stop you right there for sure i would say maybe slightly better performance but i definitely wouldn't recommend doing it um you know if if you're not really into like modding your laptop or tinkering with hardware and stuff like that i don't think it's that much of a gain for the money that you're going to spend doing this so hopefully this information helps you out as always don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you found the video useful if not drop a comment explaining how much you hate me if not then we're cool either way thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe thank you